Democratic Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia, is a swashbuckling rebel who actually cares about his constituents, even if it means bucking the party line. Manchin is one of three Democratic senators who refused to sign a letter outlining his party's tax reform policy because he believes it does not help West Virginia. Manchin, who is up for re-election in 2018, was slammed by fellow Democrats for refusing to sign the letter. He said he doesn't care if he doesn't get re-elected as a result, because he'll vote for what's in his constituents' best interests, not that of the Democratic Party. I don't give a SHT, you understand? I just don't give a ST, he told the Charleston Gazette Mail. Don't care if I get elected, don't care if I get defeated. How about that? If they, Democrats, think because I'm up for election, that I can be wrangled into voting for SHT that I don't like and can't explain, they're all crazy. I'm not scared of an election, let's put it that way. Elections do not bother me or scare me. I'm going to continue to do the same thing I've always done, be extremely independent. The bottom line is, if it doesn't help West Virginia, it doesn't make sense to me. This isn't the first time Joe Manchin had the stones to stand up to his fellow Democrats. Despite their self-nurtured image as the party of rebellion and independence, its sheep will walk in lockstep. Shortly after President Donald Trump was elected, Senator Manchin was one of the few Democratic lawmakers who urged his party to give Trump a chance, saying if the president succeeds, so does the country. My state can't succeed unless this president succeeds, Manchin said. In March, Manchin revealed he has a better relationship with President Trump than he ever did with former President Barack Obama. Why? Because Trump is so down to earth he actually takes Manchin's calls so they can work together the way politicians are supposed to. I can call Donald Trump now, and he'll probably pick up. He picks up his phone, Manchin told Politico. If you've got his number, he'll talk to you. Damnedest thing I ever seen in my life. While dopes like corrupt Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters boycotted Trump's first State of the Union address in February, Joe Manchin manned up and actually bro-hugged the president, see video.